everyone, so I have another haul video for you today. I know I am crazy about shopping right now, it's just a really amazing stress reliever. So today another package came in my mail, what's new? But this one is of the Korean beauty products that I purchased recently off Beauty Net Korea. And I think that is the name of the website, I'll definitely link it down below. I just opened this box, I can't even really remember what I purchased. I have a brief idea of some things that I do remember purchasing, but I'll just show you guys and it's totally fresh to me as well. So this is kind of like a surprise because I can't really remember what I purchased. The first thing in the box are some samples. What I love about buying off this seller is that she gives a lot of samples and they do seem to relate to the products I've bought. So the samples I got are the I'm Real Aloe Soothing Lotion by Tony Molly. It's a three step something that I do not know. I got four of these aloe samples. That's awesome because if I really like them then I can use them again and again and if I don't I can hand them out to my friends and see what they think. The other samples I got were the all-round um, all safe block soft finish sun milk which is SPF 50 which is by the brand Misha. I think this is a sunscreen and I really love sunscreen so good sample. The final sample I got was the super aqua ultra waterfall cream and I think this is something like a moisturizer, another good sample that I'm interested in. Whoa, so I got so I got a ton of other samples. I'm really surprised that I got this many. I'm so happy. I got another one of the Super Aqua. I got a Etude House face conditioning cream. I think I got this sample in the other package that I bought. I didn't really like it, so I might give that one off to my friends. Same for the Nymph Aura Volima. I got three of these. Good treats for my friends, I guess. And I got two more of the Safe Block sunscreen and two more of the face conditioning cream. So heaps and heaps of samples, so thank you very much for these. I will try to use them up. The first thing in the box is this MyZone Multifunctional Snail Wrinkle Care Sleeping Pack. The packaging is really nice and it looks like this. I previously got the toner by the same brand and I really liked it. I thought it was quite gentle and suitable for winter so I decided to pick this one up. I really like sleeping conditioning creams and kind of like sleeping face masks just because I am really lazy and it's just easier to let it soak in sleep in it and then wake up and wash it off while you wash your face. It comes in a little container like this with a spoon and I will give you my brief first impressions. I think this one was quite pricey. I do recall it was about $20. Oh, it's very, very creamy. It has a typical kind of moisturizer scent, nothing too strong. This one is basically like a extreme moisturizer. It's kind of a bizarre concept to me but it's quite popular in Asia. I'm really interested to try this. So far it looks good. I'll try to let you guys know how this one goes. The next thing I got is something from the same line which is the MyZone Snail Function Repair BB Cream and it looks like this with a similar package. I love that this has a seal just because um, I know that it's not going to be tampered with. I do like BB creams but I just don't think that they're very long wearing and they sometimes have a grey formula. Now I normally use a full coverage foundation just because of my acne but I wanted to try something that was maybe lighter. This is like a typical BB cream formula. I noticed that it's not as dewy and shiny as the other ones. It blends in really well and it's not as grey either. I'm not sure you can tell. It blends perfectly with my skin. I like the texture. It's not too oily or dewy like a lot of BB creams are. And yeah, I thought I could either just wear this if my skin wants a breather from having full coverage foundation. And if it doesn't really work out, I'd kind of just mix it in with my normal foundation so um, it won't be as heavy and blocking to my pores. Now the next few things I got were repurchases and um, the first one is the Etude House Blending Sleeping Cream. It's just like the spoon overnight mask. Um, as I said before, I've fallen in love with these overnight masks because they're so convenient and they work quite well. They're also really affordable so I repurchased the Clear and Moist Green Tea one and I decided I wanted to try a few more in their line. They have several different types for your different skin types. So I purchased two of the Antioxidant Blueberry and Moist ones. These ones are for moisturization. I thought they'd come in handy for winter and yeah these are really affordable. I definitely recommend them because they're super convenient for lazy kids like us. Now another repurchase I did was the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil and it looks like this. I got two more in the grey colour. I find that these run out really fast but they are super affordable so repurchasing is not that much of a problem. It's just kind of the waiting time in case you run out of one so I decided to just pick up two. I have this like 
inherent fear that I'm going to run out of pencil, eyebrow pencil one day and then I'm just going to have no eyebrows on that day and feel totally crushed from the inside. Well, I got them back in the grey colour. The one I'm wearing now is actually not the grey one, it's the grey brown but I figure it's a little bit too dark. I kind of like the look of the grey ones so I repurchased these grey ones instead. The brown ones aren't bad but I like the grey ones so that's it. Now the last thing I got I purchased simply because I saw it on the It's Judy Time haul that she did with Shan XO and the pigmentation on it was crazy when she swatched it. It is this Holika Holika Aqua Petite Jelly Neon Beam Tint Bar and this is basically like a lip cream pencil. When I saw Judy swatching it I just thought it was intense and amazing so I picked it up. The first thing I noticed is that it smells really good, it's got a faint grapefruit scent, not too strong which is really nice and it's really moisturizing, it's got a good pigmentation. I think most lip colorings gravitate towards red and pinks and it really brings out like my acne so I don't usually wear lip colors. I find that they're kind of really inconvenient as well because they're always smudging off because I eat a ton and you know it just rubs off on all the food I eat. So when I swatched it on my hand, it didn't look that pigmented, but now that I put it on my lips, it's insane. I look a bit like a Barbie doll. I like how easy it is to apply and I love the scent. It smells really nice and it seems really moisturizing. You can see that this like bright pink color really brings out like the redness in my acne. Uh, I'm not sure what I think. I think it's really fun and a nice thing I can try. I might want to try like a different color. Just a bit disheartening that um, Korean brands don't really do like dark colors because I really like dark lips compared to like bright ones. So if you are into like these really bright kind of jelly cute colors, I would definitely recommend this. It's quite affordable as well. So that was all for my beauty haul from Beauty Net Korea and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you have any questions about the products, I'll try to answer them if you leave them down below. But I guess that's it for now. Bye bye! Thumbnail! I'm so bad at this, Jesus. <laughs>